I think he went down into hole and up a cavity. I think it was a flexi straw that he put in there and just bent up. Guys, so, sorry for the steering wheel in the way. My car's warming up, it might be loud. I probably planned my intros better. I feel like the last few intros I've done, I've literally done in this spot as I'm driving out of my driveway. Um, I'm heading up to my doctor's office. Now, luckily I was able to get in same day. Actually, my doctor's office pretty good about getting people in. I'm gonna go get a COVID test because my lungs have been hurting since uh, about a day after I got back from Seattle. And then I went, like immediately went to the beach with my sisters. <laughs> probably not the smartest um I don't think I have COVID I mean like my lungs hurt but that's about it but another main reason why I'm getting a COVID test is that I am planning to head to Alaska very last minute um my best friend Nathaniel which you guys might know or seen I don't know when this video is going out so there has been videos with him and his soon-to-be new family um because his wedding is in just like less than two months now um and so yeah, Hillary, Laylee, and Nate, they live in Alaska and I'm just, I gotta get, gotta get out. Um, gotta get out of Dodge, you know? Um, no, I'm not necessarily, I'm not running from anything. But I do need to go see my friend. In um, Alaska, you had to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of coming into their state. Uh, these cars are going pretty fast. This will be my third COVID test. I'm hoping it's still like those like small little na nasal swabs and not like into the eye because that was my first one. My second one was like the easy, just like practically surface. And so I'm hoping it's closer to that than to the nose or to the eyeballs. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm heading there. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, and then I'll let you know if I'm going to Alaska. Cause like, I mean, obviously if I have COVID then we'll be doing quarantine videos. Um, if I am clear, then I am doing another travel video. So, hey, um, I guess in the beginning you'll find out <laughs> cause my intros was really, if I'm traveling, we'll say travel with Amber. I haven't done a quarantine one. So it might be quarantine with Amber. Who knows, you know by now. All right, another adventure with me, that's for sure. Oh my God, guys, my eyes are still watering. It burns. I haven't actually, I think this guy, look, I bet my nose is still red. My eyes, I feel, oh. He's like, no, don't worry. It's just like the one right, you know, this, the quick nasal swab. No, no, he went deep. He went deep. I don't like, he's this new doctor here. It's like, oh, he's kind of cute, young. I wonder if he's married. He's <laughs> been here six months. Just cracking little jokes with him. I don't know. Maybe he didn't appreciate me wasting up his time making jokes. There weren't even that. I mean, it's just like, I was being slightly sarcastic. My nose is burning so bad right now. So bad. This is my third test and this one really, I mean, it wasn't as deep. I don't think it was as deep as like that first one, but it was like right there underneath it. Um, do I have a napkin? I need to blow my nose. I'm so sorry. It just like, it, it's like you go in there. Okay. You go in there and they're like the amnesial nasal things, you know, runny nose, congestion. No, no, no. I walk out of there. Yes, I have a runny nose. Yes, I feel congested. Yes, my eyes feel like they're burning. And it's your fault. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Thanks for letting me vent and blow my nose on camera. It effing hurt. This, like, this was terrible. I did not like this one. I did not like this guy. All the other time, females that did it. You know, and they were sensitive. You know, soft and stuff. This guy's like, all right, it's not going to go as deep. You can do it if you want. It's like, I did it once myself. I psyched myself up. It's terrible. He's like, yeah, it's probably best if I do it. And then he just like <laughs> undoes it. Wham! Into the nose. Deep down up. I mean, like, he, I think he went down into hole and up a cavity. I think it was a flexi straw that he put in there and just bent up. Okay, I'm sorry. 
It really did hurt. Where did this guy come from? Did I turn out in front of a car and didn't realize? No, I checked because there's a semi truck turning. It is still, my nose is still hurting. Okay, I know I'm like a quarter of a mile away from the doctor's office. But like, it's like they do the nose test and they're like, okay, someone will open the door for you and then that's boom, you're out. I was like, can I put my jacket on first, you know? Um, and that's how fast they get you in and out. Um, no, it was like I sat down at the table or whatever, doctor chair. Uh, they did my vitals. Blood pressure, 110 over 69. Temperature. I think he said 75.8, 77.8, 70 something. 70, oh my god. 97.8. Sorry, this road is terrible for filming. I know this is going to be so bouncy. So yeah, temperature's great, blood oxygen level's great, heart rate's great. My nose still, like, hurts. Like, have you ever ate, like, a really hot pepper? You know, you're eating a, a Thai pepper, a ghost pepper, some really hot pepper, uh, red pepper flakes, I don't know, whatever it is for you that's hot. And it kind of, and it gets, like, on your lips or surrounding your lips or whatever. That is, like, how my nose feels. Like, you ever eat something hot and then it just, like, stayed on your lips? That is me. That's why I know. So anyway, I'm home. Um, so the doctor is going to call me. He said within an hour or so. It is the rapid test. I should know soon. Positive, negative. And then that dictates whether I'm going to go down there and pick up my negative certificate so I can get onto an airplane and fly to Alaska. Or if I'm going to lock myself in my room and be gone for 10 days. I don't know. So we'll find out. I'll let you know by the end of this video for sure. And like I said in the beginning, whether this video is going to say travel with Amber, quarantine with Amber, we're going to be doing something. So, hey, so let's do a update. Let's turn on some lights. All right. Here it is. I went back and picked it up. And if you can't read that, well, actually, I don't know if you want to know all this information. Anyway, it does state that I had a negative COVID test. Um, so which means <laughs> I'm frantically packing because like I said, this is gonna be a last minute trip. Um, what is keeping out there? Like Amazon guy, are you okay? I'll show you. Oh. All right, I was just creeping on the Amazon guy. But he's sitting out there, it's like I've been hearing this beeping noise forever. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, here's my messy bed. I am frantically packing because I am heading off to Alaska, um, but the best flight I could find and the cheapest flight I could find was um, in Seattle, which I've done before. You guys may know um, Seattle's about a four hour drive. Probably look into this. Okay. Um, sorry. It's got to rain here because I decided literally this morning I'm going to Alaska if I'm all good. Flying out of Seattle, uh, I got a first class ticket for 300 something dollars, less than $400 with taxes, and I bought the insurance just in case something happens between, knock on some wood, between now and tomorrow morning. But Portland was it flying out, um, any good seats or good times until Tuesday. Now I'm going to put you guys down. It's funny, I'm actually wearing my Alaska shirt. Uh, Nate got this for me a couple of Thanksgivings ago. I know it's weird Thanksgiving, but that's when they come down to Oregon, as they come down to Oregon in November for holiday. Um, anyway, so, Seattle's the best price, best time. I had to, it's funny, I had to actually um, book my flight to coordinate with Nate's watching, because he has to drive um, an hour or so or more to Anchorage to get me at Ted Stevens um, to go back to his house. He, uh, I had to pick a time that fit in with his football watching schedule, it's playoffs. He's a huge Buffalo Bills fan. Like, hey, like, comment, share, or whatever, if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, because very far in between do you find one on the West Coast. So yeah, I had to, I had to get a flight that, um, didn't interfere with the Bills playing in the playoffs. And um, he's like, well, I guess that time will work. I'll miss a little bit. I missed the first half of 
this game, but we'll be back in time for this anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm flying out of Seattle. So I am currently packing. I am flying first class. I really like flying first class. I mean, who doesn't? Anyway, it was like the difference after paying my baggage cost $10 more to fly first class after what I would have paid for um, paying for two suitcases. So um, by that, by paying that $10, I get the convenience of skipping ahead in line. Um, boarding first. Oh, I think last time I flew first class during COVID, they handed out like Clorox wipes. Um, it's like little wet towelettes. Actually, I don't think it was exactly this. This was a free thing I got from couponing stuff. Um, but yeah, they like give you hand sanitizer things wiped down where, you know, back in the economy, they're just like, good luck. We might have wiped it down before you came in. We might have not. Who knows? I don't know if that's true. But yeah, I like, whenever I can fly first class, I can. I'm flying out of Seattle. So I think that is Alaska's home base, Alaska Air home base. So I've heard really good things about their lounge. I've um, I've been into Ted Stevens Anchorage's lounge before. It's nice. So yeah, $10 extra to get all these perks. Yeah, please sign me up. Like I'll go take some pop cans in or something like that to pay the difference. So I got to get packing. Um, so this video has mostly been me rambling about random things as I was driving. Pretty standard for me actually. Like one of my favorite things to do. Um, weirdly though, like weird coincidence, did I throw away the packaging? Let me look. All right, I don't know where the packaging is, but anyway, the whole point of that, of me going off searching, is I bought this like digital suitcase scale on clearance for $1.88, I think, really weird, at Walmart, just like two days ago. And then I'm actually using it, so that's cool. That was like, I don't know, the universe showing me something. So I gotta finish packing and then we're leaving here. Katie's gonna pick me up around 7.30-ish um, whenever she can put her kids to bed. She's not leaving, like, Jason's there, don't worry. Um, but whenever she could escape, I told her, hey, as long as you get me there before my flight tomorrow morning, I don't care, we could do an all-nighter, we could show up. Um, it's like, I'll get you a hotel if you want, you know, like, stay, like, just get, like, a trip away. Um, Anyway, so I gotta get finished packing because like I said, this was very last minute. But yeah, come with me. I don't know what I'm gonna film. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I gotta go, I gotta get finished packing. Um, just continue watching all Lincoln videos. Just come to Alaska, relax with me or work with me. Who knows what it's gonna do because this is literally last minute. <laughs>